Welcome back, everybody. My guest tonight is a beloved actress who has charmed us on screen since she was 11 months old. At 11 years old, she was charming in different ways. She now hosts the Drew Barrymore Show. Please welcome Drew Barrymore. Hello, Drew Barrymore. So lovely to see you, as always. I, I mean, I can't. I just said to you, I've never been able to maintain my cool or composure in life, so why start now when I'm here hanging out with you? I'm obsessed with you. And uh, in all the unlascivious, uncreepy ways, just, oh. you know, I, in all the right and appropriate ways. Okay, now I need you to straighten something else for, out for me. You're, you're, you're uh, an actress, a producer, a director, you're a best-selling author, you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> How is this the first time you've done a talk show? You seem like a natural to do a talk show, because essentially doing a talk show, as I have learned, you know, doing a talk show, you're hanging out with the audience, and the audience is hanging out with you. Drew Barrymore seems like just the easiest hang in the world. How, how is this taking you this long to get behind the desk? You know, I, first of all, I'm glad if you see this as a natural fit. I yeah. can't really think of anyone I trust uh, the gut and instincts of more than someone like you. So, few, A, yay, second. Three, I have a sign on my wall that says timing is everything. And I guess, I don't know, maybe everything sort of led up to mm -hmm. this in a way. Maybe, uh, I have to say, honestly, no BS. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I definitely, I'm so relieved and glad that I wasn't doing this at any other point in my life. I think that it was better for me to go through a lot of different evolutions in my life sure. and be able to put things into characters. I mean, I'm always bringing myself to the party and you do comedy and your whole legacy you know, as much as we even try to sort of like do a deep imitation or escape ourselves, we're always there. Right. But there was, you know, as much as my life was so exposed in so many areas, I still had the comfort of getting my yayas out in ways through characters. And this is, you know, uh, all me. And yet I don't have to ditch everything I love. Like I was just telling you, we were shooting like, you know, a wacky scene in our control room for a sketch we're gonna do. And I get to bring all of that experience into this. I don't think I would have done at least what I'm hopefully excited about doing and capable of now at any other point. That was the longest winded answer. I, I, let me just see if I can pare it down, see what I got, what I gleaned from that, what I sieved, what the gold I panned out of that was that, you, you know, you've been an actress your whole life, now you have to be yourself and you like it, but it doesn't mean you can leave. You have to leave the acting behind. Yes, thank you. Why couldn't I have just said it that way? But you said it better. You you say you want to bring some late night to daytime. What does yes. that mean? Do you expect your audience to be to to be sleepy or high? What do you what do you want? <laughs> some of my mom friends were watching the premiere show, and you know I wanted to say a nod to some people I knew that were watching and supporting me in my personal life and I was like I wonder if they're having a cocktail oh it's 9 a.m. well you know whatever um, it's COVID uh, yeah exactly it's COVID um, I think that and I thought about this the other day and this was like a fresh objectivity moment for me and it was actually in my preparation for talking to you when you come um, on our show and I can't wait grace us with your presence I'm looking forward to it Comedy, to me, was a subconscious survivalist mechanism. And I gravitated towards, when I was laughing, everything else fell away and the world was awesome. It was okay. And listen, everybody needs to think and feel or be told everything's gonna be okay. And laughter did that for me. So that's why I love you and what you do because I think laughter is medicine and it's necessary and it's important and we need it. It's vital when we all go through stuff, everybody goes through stuff. No one lives a life that escapes the hard stuff. So gosh, you need the comedy. You need the life affirming laughs. I 100% agree. Laughter is the best medicine next to actual medicine. <laughs> and and until we actually get a vaccine, here we are. Drew, we have to take a quick break, because, you know, talk show. But stick around, everybody. We'll be right back with more Drew Barrymore. Yeah.